I'll show you two ways how you can take a screenshot on a Samsung Galaxy A9 or A9 Plus tablet, okay? So the most common way is a two key combination. It's the power button and the volume down. If you press both buttons at the same time, should automatically take a screenshot. From there, you can tap on there to share or tap on your edit, okay? If you don't do nothing, it'll automatically get saved into your Photos app or your Gallery app, okay? So if I tap on my Gallery app right there, I'll just go back. You can click on the three lines on top here, up here, and then you should have a folder called Screenshots as well, okay? So tap on there. That last screenshot we just took is right there. Now, another way to take a screenshot it's enabled by default, okay? You want to slide your hand from left to right or right to left, barely touching the screen, all right? Let me, s I always have issues doing this because my hands are usually sweaty. Okay, let me try, try it again. Wow, it's not working now. Come on, left to right. Let me do it again. All right, let me do right, uh, right to left. Oh my goodness, okay, so that took a screenshot. Let me do it this way now. Maybe I'm not, maybe I'm doing it too slow or too fast. Okay, there we go. Anyway, the easy way for me is definitely using uh, the two um, two buttons up there, okay? Also, let me show you a scrolling screenshot, okay? So let's say, for instance, you're on like, uh, you open your Google Chrome browser and you're on like a website and instead of sending like a bunch of uh, different screenshots, you want like send one big one. So for example, let's say we want to, take a screenshot of some of this on here. I'm gonna go ahead and take the screenshot first. Volume down, power. Okay, now you'll see this little thing down here, this little down thing. And now you can see I can keep capturing more and more of this web page. Okay, let's just stop right there. And of course you can edit and you can share it as well. Okay, but if you leave it just like this, it'll automatically get saved into your gallery app as well as the Photos app. So let me just go back here. We're gonna go back to screenshots and that last screenshot we just took is right here. And you can see this large one screenshot right there. Pretty simple. Questions or issues, comment below.